that looks like a rock or the ocean floor, but can kill you. This isn't a riddle. Lumpy, bumpy, and arguably ugly, the stonefish is the living rock you do not want to step on. This fish is a bad swimmer, but if you think they're an evolutionary failure, think again. Yeah, they had us the first half, I'm not gonna lie. It may be a master of camouflage, but its heart-stopping defensive mechanism makes it stand out among its underwater peers. How lethal is stonefish venom? What's the venom used for? The answers may be as surprising as accidentally stepping on one of these suckers. The stonefish's small size, speckled coloring, and bumpy skin make it indistinguishable from rocks, sand, and coral of the Indo-Pacific oceans. These fish like to hang out in warm, shallow waters. As ambush hunters, their camouflage and incredible patience make them great at what they do. When an unsuspecting fish or crustacean crosses its path, this spiny assassin makes quick work of their meal. They don't chew or nibble. Nope, these little swimming rocks just straight up suck up their prey. In 15 milliseconds to boot, so try not to blink. It's actually so fast that you can only catch the act using slow motion. I thought this fish was supposed to be slow. You lied to me! But their ambush tactics are precisely the reason why they've never evolved into better swimmers. Stillness may be their virtue, but it also leaves this coral impersonator open to attack from other predators. While other smaller fish swim away quickly to avoid being eaten, stonefish have developed a unique and much more aggressive way of protecting themselves. These underwater hoovers have a dorsal fin armed with 13 spines connected to a venom-producing gland. To make things worse, these spines are incredibly sharp. With a minimal amount of pressure, these venomous spikes can pierce through a rubber flip-flop. If you're an unsuspecting human who has accidentally stepped on one, you're in for a world of pain. The stonefish varicotoxin can cause blinding agony, breathing trouble, convulsions, and more. Within minutes, this venom will travel through your entire leg, and the awful symptoms can last for hours. Without emergency help, the toxin can cause paralysis, cardiovascular issues, and in the worst case scenario, death. Oh, bloody hell. It's a good thing these suckers are mostly found closer to the ocean floor, because a single sting to your stomach or chest can kill you. I'll kill you and everybody you love. So as long as you stay out of the water, you're probably safe, right? I have bad news. Hey, guys, bring out, man. You could get a stonefish sting even if you keep your feet out of the ocean. Unlike most fish, these stony scoundrels can actually survive outside of water. This is an evolutionary adaptation that helps stonefish stay alive, even when the tide is out. Because they like shallow waters, it isn't uncommon for them to be exposed to air. As long as their skin stays moist, stonefish can absorb oxygen through their skin. They can live on land for up to 24 hours. I guess this makes up for their clumsy swimming skills. The stonefish is a creature of many talents. Curious to see what other finned monsters have lightning-fast reflexes? Check out our episode on the stargazer fish. They may have a face that only a parent could love, but they use clever camouflage and lethal venom. That's what stonefish do, and that's what makes them crazy creatures.